it's running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me with my life laid down i surrender now i give you everything your goodness is running after it's running after me teachers and the teachers of teachers who supported us and all the individual who supported the Sabbath school department. All that we are saying is may the good Lord bless us all and are you cool. Our closing hymn is taken from him 29. We are singing only the first hymn now so we'll be on our feet. commit the rest of the section into your hand that may you take charge bless us this sabbath and let everything we need provide in jesus mighty name we pray thanksgiving amen god bless us all and happy Sabbath. As the year draws close, closer to an end, um, this is a reiteration from the health department that we, we should all take cognizance of the fact that um, Omicron is in town. It is affecting a lot of people, even though the WHO has established that um, it is not warranting much more of uh, hospital admissions. It is highly infectious and highly transmissible. So we, we, the health department is urging all of us to take notice of that. And please let us wear our masks. Keep the social distance. Yes, it is a festive period around us. The gatherings will be more. Please let us observe these social distance protocols. Wear our masks, wash our hands, and then keep safe. Nutrition as well is very vital to boost our immune system. 
from the Ghana Health Service, the statistics are going up. So it is very necessary that we take a second thought if we've not um, taken our vaccines. It is necessary that we take them. Yes, you might have your own uh, um, decision on it or maybe your thoughts about it. There are lots of uh, conspiracy theories on that. This is not a time for it. We are just urging that at least, if not for yourself, consider those around you, the little ones, the aged, those with uh, comorbidities. Just consider these ones around you and take the shot. Yes, it has been established that if you have the shot and there's a reinfection, um, your, your, mo your mortality rate is far less than those who have even not had any shots of that sort. So please, we are reiterating that you consider taking your shots and then observe the usual protocols and then we hope to keep safe and cross over to the next year to be together again. Thanks very much. Happy Sabbath. Happy, happy Sabbath. Happy, happy, happy Sabbath. God is good. And all the time. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. We've, we are in very difficult times, as the brother just said. But God has been good. We are all, we've all made nearly to the end of the year. It's just by the providence and the kindness of God. And he deserves our praise. Amen. But I also want to tell you this. I think we have also been good. Amen. Okay, you don't trust yourselves. We've been good. There's evidence to that. Look at this building. Look at the number of people that test that. By God's grace, we've been able to build to this level. By his grace. So he deserves the praise. Amen. Amen. So we have been faithful. A few weeks back, we, we were tasked to bring people together to donate towards the building. And from that harvest, we had about 300 and 40,000 plus. Every month, each one of us has been given to the glory of God. And because we were, we, we've been doing that, see where we are. But there's still a little more to be done. There's still, we still need to push to get this done completely. Then we'll be able to worship our God in spirit, in truth, and in peace. Amen. So coming Sabbath 1st January, we're going to have our monthly offering, the one for December, and that's the mega one. That is the day we'll be coming together to give a special offering to honor God for how good he has been to us. For many of us, we have sown great seeds in 2021, and we are about to reap mightily in 2022 it's only good for us to give thanks to god it's only good for us to come with heavy purses heavy wallets to give something for the building of his church coming summer so i've just come to tell you that first january come and let's do this together to the glory of our god amen Uh, good morning, church. A happy Sabbath to you all. We have some announcements for your attention. There will be a church board meeting on 26th. That's tomorrow. New church board members are expected to join the meeting. The time is 4 p.m. It will be communicated to you in due course if it is going to be a physical meeting or virtual. It's going to be a virtual meeting, please. Uh, thank you. Communion service. As next week, the church is kindly reminded of PESDAC's end-of-year communion service, which has been scheduled for 1st January 2022. All church members are to kindly take note. Ordination and consecration. There would be an ordination ceremony for an elder and some deacons today. 
Right after this ceremony, all newly elected church officers will also be consecrated for work. The Family to Godliness afternoon program has been postponed. We will communicate to you a new date. There will be a short program for the church to welcome the new year on 31st December. It will be an evening of prayers, praise, and testimonies from 5 to 7 p.m. Brief meeting. The Women Ministries leadership will be pleased to meet with all the young women of PESDAC for a short and all-important meeting right after divine service. Uh, could we skip this, please? Other Sam and Jennifer Nyakumensa cannot thank God enough for blessing them with the gift of a baby girl. She was born on Monday, 20 December, at the Ridge Hospital. Both mother and baby are doing well. Let's rejoice with them and sing praises to the Lord. Amen. Amen. The same, our dear brother J.J. Segrefia and wife Nana Ajwa are thankful to the Lord for the arrival of their baby boy. The baby was born on Wednesday, December 22nd at Resolve Medical Services at Spintex. Mother and son are doing so well. All praises to God. Brother Charles Habia and my good self will be on duty from Sunday to January 8th, 2022. Should you require any assistance on an urgent church related matter, don't hesitate to reach us. All others may be at your own discretion. Thank you. Blessing of marriage. The Jamesi and Amedo, I hope I got it right, families joyfully invite us to invite us to celebrate the blessing of marriage of their beloved Moses Selom Jamesi of the Medina Central SDA Church and Angela Mausi Amedo of Pesdak on Sabbath, 1st January 2022 at Medina Central SDA Church at 10 a.m. The said marriage shall be preceded by a traditional marriage on Monday at its first at Tefle, top town in the Volta region at 10 a.m. prompt. Thank you so much for your attention. May God bless us as we get ourselves ready for divine service. Amen. Give unto the Lord the glory. Do unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his court. Oh, oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Amen.
God, sons and daughters of the kingdom have gathered in your presence. We respectfully invite you to enthrone among us, and not only to speak to us, but to heal us. And not only to heal us, but to register our names in the book of life. And not only that, to grant us protection and guidance and set our hearts on fire for kingdom business. Holy Spirit, take charge of this service. Lord Jesus, it is time for you to stir sons and daughters up. Come and speak to us. I ask Christ in your name with thanksgiving. Amen. Church. Good Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Church is the last Sabbath of the year. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Happy, happy Sabbath. Happy, happy day. We have every reason to be glad. Because God deserves all the praise to be alive today. It's only the grace of God who has taken us through the year. Church of Chuman, till now. What do you say to God? Amen. I welcome all of you to church this morning. And I a special welcome go to the first time visitors that are visiting us today. Today is the community guest day. We have invited some first and miss. And we want to acknowledge them. First on the list, we have Richard James, that's the former Amasama. Richard. Amen. My brother, welcome. We have Daniel Asari from Greenway. Daniel. Amen. We have Yvonne Asal for Spitters. Amen. Amen. Lucy Amuko from Amehia. Amen. Amen. Felicia Bwate from Banana Inn. Amen. Amen. Ayamake from Wadabo. Amen. Amen. Welcome all of you to church today. We are glad that you have joined us today to worship in the house of God. So we pray that God will wish you bless you. This is the last Sabbath of the year, and I'm sure that you have not seen some people who are in here. I'm sure that one way or another, you have not seen people. It's time to, it's time to welcome them. But you know, because of COVID, you can't shake hands. So just wave at somebody and pronounce a blessing to the person that. So we call on the organist to give her a tomb as we stand and wave and then maybe elbow and peace.
please let's sit. Sons and daughters of the omnipotent God, have a Sabbath. I respectfully ask that somebody call Elder to be Jeremiah Sawo is exiting to come. Titus, the chapter number one, the verses six through to nine. Titus, the chapter number one, the verses six through to nine. Bible says an elder must live a blameless life. He must be faithful to his wife. And his children must be believers who don't have a reputation of being wild or rebellious. An elder is a manager of God's household, so he must live a blameless life. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered. He must not be heavy drinker, violent or dishonest with money. Rather, he must enjoy having guests in his home, and he must love what is good, and he must live wisely and be just. He must live a devout and disciplined life. He must have a strong belief in trustworthy message he was taught. Then you'll be able to encourage others with wholesome teachings and show those who oppose it where they are wrong. This morning, we are here to, at this juncture of the service, ordain an elder that has been elected to be part of the seven elders for 2022 and a deacon who has also been chosen to serve in the office of Deacon Gray. May I respectfully invite Elder Jerry Mensah, Mr. Jerry Mensah, I beg your pardon, to be here. All pastors who are around, may I invite our brother Atakra to be here. Amen. Mr. Mensah comes with his wife. Amen. And to Cindy, wherever you are, respectfully comes down behind your husband. Oh God, our help in ages past organist. As the choir rise to sing, the congregation joins. All ordained elders, as a way of support, please be behind them as well. While we do this short ceremony. children of these two men of God are here, please let them come and stand by. We're singing all the stanza. Shut us the watch. 
to sing the last stanza. After this prayer, all the officers elected for 2022, you will join them. And then pastor will offer that prayer. Let us pray. Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, kneeling before you, are your son, Jerry Mensah, and Emmanuel Atakra. Before the foundations of the world were laid, Father, we believe that you chose them to serve your church in the year 2022. My Father, I am unqualified. None of us do qualify, and they are not qualified. But because of Jesus, you have qualified us to serve. We therefore bless your name for this opportunity. When you call, you sanctify. When you call, you edify. Whenever you call, you resource and you equip. I remember when Moses was exiting, you chose Joshua to replace him. And you came and inaugurated Joshua yourself. Nailing before you, your son Jerry and your son Atakra are ready for you to do what you did for Joshua. They are ready for you to do for what you did for your servant David when you ask someone to pour oil on him. This morning, we don't have oil in our hands, but Father, you do have oil. And therefore, we ask you that you will pour your oil on them so that they will serve you and serve you well. Any weaknesses they have, as your ministers, we lay our hands on them, Father, through us, let the Holy Spirit take away these weaknesses and grant them strength and power to serve in your vineyard and serve well. Mighty Father, I plead in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptize them with the Holy Spirit as ministers lay hands on them. Baptize them with the Holy Spirit as ministers we have laid hands on them. Father, please, you have the permission of leadership and your ministers. Fill these men with your spirit and power. Anoint them according to your riches in glory, O God. Let the elders serve and serve well. Let the deacons serve and serve you well. Grant them the gift of healing. That when they pray for the sick, the sick will recover. Grant them power over evil spirit. That when they pray, powers of darkness will run for cover. Amen. Grant them the teaching spirit and preaching spirit. Amen. That when they stand before people to preach and to teach, your voice will be heard, not their voice. Your message will be heard, not their message. Father, grant them the gift of miracles. That you will use them to perform miracles to your honor and glory. Fill these men, Father, with wisdom as you gave to Basileia in the construction of the temple and in workings in the temple. Mighty Father, we ask above all, let your mighty hand rest upon them all the days of their life. Lead them out, bring them in, grant them protection par excellence, and we ask, let the enemies not triumph over them because they serve in your binder. Grant them resources to take care of their families so that they will have the peace to work for you. We pray for their wives and their children. As you bless your sons, bless the wife, bless the children as well. My Father, this morning, Jesus, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. Dad, you are here. Consecrate Jerry Mensah. 
consecrate Emmanuel Atakra. Ordain them to and for your service. In the name of you, Father, in the name of you, Jesus Christ, the Son, and in the name of you, Holy Spirit, we have presented them for consecration and dedication for your service in 2022 and beyond. Let the house of God say, Amen. Amen. We ask our officers for the year 2022 to come up front. 264 organists, the congregation will sit this time round. 264, the first and the last stanzas. O oh God, O oh for that flame of living fire. Two six four. We all singing with a choir standing. Oh, for that flame of the living fire, we so so bright. Souls to have lost by coming distress in danger. The last stanza. Remember, Lord, the ancient days. Renew thy word, thy grace restore. Today, our hearts we pray on us, thy Holy Spirit. Shall we bow as we seek the lost in prayer? Our Heavenly Father, your children are before thee. We are so gracious unto you for your wisdom for your guidance, and for your counsel. We thank you for the calls that you call your children. A call to worship the Lord, a call to accept responsibility, and a call to rest, and sometimes a call to resurrect. This time, a call to res accept responsibility. And you say, anybody who needs wisdom, you should ask of you. James 1 verse 5. You who give wisdom generously will earn an empty fork. We therefore commit the leaders into your hands. The leaders for 2022. Without your guidance, they can do anything. But with you in the boat, they can smile at a storm. So Lord, we commit their families into your hands. Bless them as they accept your responsibility to do your work. Bless them like you bless Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let all the blessings recorded in Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 to 13 be their portion. Continue to bless them in the name of our Father. Bless them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the name of our Holy Spirit. Continue to bless them, Lord. Let them align all their wishes in you. All their will with you. Let them align all their desires in you. So that at the end, you can bless them. Because we've asked them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, finally, as ministers, raise our hands towards your people. Holy Spirit, fall on these officers of the church for the year 2022. Amen. Please take away all weaknesses that this church will excel in the coming year. Jesus, soak each one of them in your blood. And let whatever your blood is capable of doing be done to each one of them. Amen. Take their weaknesses away. Grant them strength. Amen. Lord, the prayer you prayed in John 17, pray that prayer for them right now. Amen. Unity yes. in the church. Amen. Unity among us. Amen. Unity in the body of Christ. Yes. Unity in this Prince Emmanuel Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen. Let this be seen, be felt and be experienced. 
the year 2022, whatever the enemy has planned against any one of them, my father, please stand against it and destroy it. They are not paid at the end of the month for the work they do. Father, please reward each one of them. As they work for you, work for them. Bless their homes, bless their businesses. Those who are not married, the year 2022 and beyond, grant them husbands and wives. Those who have all kinds of ambitions, may you cause it to come to pass. Amen. And now because you have started to work in the vineyard of the Most High, may you never lack. Amen. May he grant you oil to excel. Amen. May there not be any challenges ahead of you Amen. as he was with Joshua. Amen. May the Almighty God be with you. Amen. And may you work to build his church. And when Jesus appears, he will reward you accordingly. We have therefore prayed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let God's children shout aloud, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is faithful. God is gracious. We love him so much. And this morning, we just want to praise him for the gift he gave to the world. Jesus came to seek and save the lost. That is the most important thing. That is all that matters to us. That we were not left in our sin to die. But that God gave himself incarnated his son to die so we would have life. We sing this morning that we are so grateful for the cross. We are so grateful that Jesus came to seek and save the world. And that we will end by coming together to praise him. Oh, come let us adore him. But let's begin with the I'm forever grateful. Let us sing the chorus once so that we want all of you to join in the praise. So at least if you cannot sing the verse, the chorus yet, you should be able to sing, to praise him. Amen. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever grateful to you. To you. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever grateful. Wait for me, to draw near to you, but you clothe yourself with frail humanity. You did not wait for me, to cry out to you, but you let me hear your voice calling me. I'm forever grateful, oh, forever grateful to you. I'm forever grateful for the cross. I'm forever grateful to you. To you that you care. Save the Lord. You did not wait for me. 
to draw near to you, to draw near to you, but you clothed yourself with full humanity. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You did not wait for me. You did not wait for me to cry out to you. To cry out to you, but you let me hear your voice calling me, and I'm forever grateful to you, I'm forever grateful for the cross, I'm forever grateful
seek the Lord in prayer. Those of us on the whole song go down on our knee while the congregation stand. Gracious Father, we thank you and bless your name. For your goodness and mercies indeed endure us forever. Our hearts are full of gratitude for what you have done for us from the beginning of the year up to this moment. We say praise be the holy name. Throughout the course of the year, you have brought so many blessings on us that we can count. You are giving us jobs, we are blessing of kids, we are blessing of spouses. When we put our man back, Father, we just want to say thank you for saving us from accidents, for healing, healing our sicknesses. We call upon your name several times you have come through for us. We say thank you. We magnify your name. We bless your holy name, Lord. We thank you especially for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, who came to die on the cross of Calvary for us. Without him, we would have been lost. We say thank you, Father. In the midst of all these blessings, O oh Lord, we have sinned against you. Father, please forgive us. Cleanse us. The blood that was shed on Calvary, O oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that may that blood cleanse us and make us holy in the name of Jesus. As we have come to worship on this holy day, O oh Lord, our God and King, we want to invite you into our midst. Send your Holy Spirit and send hosts of angels to join us to worship you today, Lord our God and King. And may our worship today be acceptable on the side, O Lord God and King. Whatever we do today, O Lord, pour your blessing upon us, O Lord. By the time we live here, may our sickness be healed. May all the bad burden we have on our heart be lifted up. Father, we are counting on you. You will never disappoint us before. Therefore, on this holy day, O Lord, come and visit us, O Lord. Father, we want to commit Pastor into the hand who will speak to us today. Please, as he stands to speak to us, hide him behind the cross. May your voice be heard. May you be seen. At the end of the day, O oh Lord, use him to bless us, O oh Lord. And may everything we do today be acceptable in our sight. We thank you and bless your holy name, O oh Lord, God and King, for we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Praise God. We still thank him for how far he has brought us. God be praised. It is in the local dialect. And it says, all thanks to God. For by his grace, we are still alive. We are not consumed according to our sins. But the Lord has been gracious and faithful unto us. And so we'll thank him and praise him. Jesus, me boot and teaming me. Are you in a yawsi? Jesus, my coach and me, my bank, I said, sounded to us. We would have started thinking we would feel suffocated, isn't it? But here we are. At least it's been over a year, but the Lord has seen us through. I want you to reflect on a favorite psalm of mine, Psalm 34, verse 8. It says what? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Then when you go down, 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 verse 10, it says what? The long year lions, they do trust. They do what? They lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall never want any good thing. Yes, we had aspirations at the beginning of the year. We had hopes. We had desires. 
Maybe we've achieved some, some we might not have achieved it. But through it all, His grace has been so sufficient. So ours is to be faithful. Let's remain faithful. Let's do our honest part and keep trusting Him so that He will open the, the windows and the gates of heaven and pour down upon us blessings, manifold blessings that will overflow. And He says what? We wouldn't have room enough to receive it. On this note, I want to call on the the Dickenses and the Dickens to wait on us as we return our fights and offerings. Let's remember our give a 10 for the bowl and the, the, the sacks go for our fights and our offerings. Those who need to be able to support their families can give to support 
their families, our children, their school fees and all that. Father, bless our homes and help us to be able to sustain the families that you bestowed upon us. We thank you so much for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Those who need jobs are in your hands. Provide for them. Please help them to be able to get something to be able to support your work. So next time when they come, they can also give to the glory of your holy name. We thank you and we know that we will never lack any good thing as you have promised. For we ask for those and many other blessings through the wedding name of our Lord and Master Jesus. Amen.
scripture reading this morning. I want you all to take your Bibles and turn with me to the book of John. John chapter 1, reading from verse 12 to 13. John chapter 1, verses 12 to 13. Let us hear the word of God. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Lord add his blessings to his holy words. Amen. For a hymn of meditation, we mm -hmm. of him, truth is true. Sis, truth is true, sweet, sweet spirit. Mm -hmm. this morning, Lord Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. God is good. And all the time, I must confess the attendance is good today as compared to last week. And we thank God for bringing all of us to church. At the beginning of the day, I thought that I won't be able to make it because I was scared of the virus. 
Uh, here we are, 25th of December. Grace and grace alone. We've interacted with people in offices, marketplace. But he has spared our lives, others are gone. We need to thank him. And that is why I'm inviting you to our 31st December to our service Friday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Right here in this auditorium, we're going to sing, we're going to take testimonies, and we're going to thank the Lord. Please don't miss it. Wherever you are, please be here and let us thank God together. He's been good to us. Our guests, friends who have joined us in church, you are welcome to Prince Emmanuel SDA Church. In the house for the Lord, as you can see, we are sitting up. And that by God's grace, he will equip and resource us to complete this. So that when we meet here, we will not be finding ourselves. They see that for this, I'm inviting you week today to come and help us to give money for this church building business. A week today, we shall have a project harvest and raise money for the continuation of this church building. Seven others, sons and daughters of the kingdom, hearing my voice this morning, serve them well. If you are to teach or you are a teacher, Sabbath school, whatever, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving generously, if God has given you leadership, Ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift of showing kindness to others, do it gladly. Verse 9. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. Verse 11. Please look into your Bible. Never be lazy as a child of God, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confidence, hope, be patient in trouble, and keep on praying. Verse 13 says, when God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. 14 verse says, bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. 16. Live in harmony with each other the year 2022 and beyond. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. Very important point. And don't think that you know it all. Nobody knows it all. 17. Never pay back evil with evil. Do things in such a way that Everyone can see you are honorable. Hmm. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. 
19, dear sons and daughters of the kingdom, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For scripture says, I will take revenge on your behalf. I will pay them back who persecute you. 20 instead. If your enemy is hungry, feed him or her. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you'll be heaping burning coals of shame on their head. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. And what do we say? New year, a new me, the year 2022. When Jesus went to the sepulcher of Lazarus, there are things he did. And there are things he asked men to do. New year, new me implies God will do certain things for us. God expects us to do certain things for ourselves. There are things God will do. There are things he wants us to do. I want us to put that in our mind. That in the year 2022 and beyond, God is not going to do everything for us. And therefore, we need, if we want to have the new me, to be intentional. We need to be deliberate in doing the following seven things that he's going to share with us. We must be intentional in the following seven things that we're going to talk about. Number one, if you can write, write it down. Those of you who are mothers, fathers, when you die in the year 2022, God forbid, your company or hire another person to replace you. Your friends will go ahead and get new friends. Your colleagues will find new colleagues. But your wife, your husband, and your children will not be able to find anybody like you. And therefore, in the year 2022 and beyond, new year, new me, make time for your family. Make time for your family. Don't let work take your 24 hours, eight hours for work, eight hours for leisure with the family, eight hours to sleep. That is what 24 hours mean. 2022 and beyond, spend time with your family because you are replaceable at work. A pastor at church somewhere, a woman was an Adventist, the man was not an Adventist. A woman came to me and said, Pastor, when I was coming to church, my husband didn't want me to come. I told her, go back home. I suck her to go back home to be with her husband. Make time for your family. Make sure in the year 2022, no member of your family, Elder Ni, Aite Hamon, or the elders here, I call you Elder because you qualify Hope Channel Manager. All elders here, all mothers here, all married people here, make sure in the year 2022, should Jesus come, no member of your family will be lost. So make time for the family. Some of you listening to me the whole week, no devotion in your house because of work. Jesus said, what would a man gain if he gained the whole world and loses his soul? Mothers support us. 
In my family, my wife is the pastor. I'm a member of that church in the family. She's so fantastic helping. Mothers, support your husbands. When you see that they are not getting time, help them so that nobody will be lost in the family. In the year 2022 and beyond, number one, you are replaceable at church. You are replaceable at home. You are replaceable at work. You are replaceable among your friends. Therefore, please, be intentional to make time for your family. Number two, the same intentionality. You wake up mothers, drive or take a car, go to the salon to sit down for your hair to be done. The same intentionality, you wake up, you dress up to go to work. The same intentionality, you wake up, you decide to do certain things in the year 2022. New Year, New Me says, make sure you grow and develop spiritually. Be intentional about your spiritual growth and development. Be intentional. Because Jesus can come 2022. You and I can be called to sleep in the year 2022 without your connection with Christ. You will be lost. Make time for your spirituality. Drop the too busy syndrome. We are living in a time where the moment you become careless about spiritual life, the devil will make sure you pay for it. So cling to Jesus. Airtight. Know him experientially, not as an Adventist. As the, it doesn't save experiential relationship with the Lord. Place a priority on your prayer life, meditation life, your Bible study, your fasting, and coming to church for fellowship. Because of COVID, I won't come to church. I will be online. Hebrews says when the time is getting close, we should not forget to be in church together. We go to the market. We interact with people in the offices. But when it comes to the church of God, we give excuse. This year coming, please be intentional about church attendance. As you are intentional about going to do your hair. Practice what I call tight of time. Give a tenth of 24 hours for your spiritual growth. Which is 2 hours 40 minutes every day. 10% of your 24 hours. Intentionally dedicate it to your spiritual growth and development. Bible. Prayer. Meditation, coming to church, connecting with Christ. 10% of your time. The year 2022, new year, new me. 10% of your time, 24 hours dedicated to grow spiritually to know Jesus. Strive to defeat every behavioral limitation. Every attitude, character, behavior, 31st December, this church and friends who are joining us, you should be able to sit down and review 2021 and know where you fell short and intentionally ask the Holy Spirit to assist you to overcome behavioral limitations. Remember, there are two Bibles in the world. You are a Bible. People are reading. And this holy writ. Make sure people read right. You have placed the name Jesus Christ on yourself. Make sure you reflect him as such. 
My wife Hannah is called Hannah Melchizedek. So whenever Melchizedek is mentioned, people connect her to me. So if she misbehave, she has despised my name. We are called sons and daughters of the Most High. Two Bibles, 2022. Make sure people read it and write you and this one. Number three, after creation, the Lord held a meeting with Adam and Eve. And told them, Genesis chapter number 1, verse number 29, and God said, See, I have given you every herb that you see, which is on the face of the earth, and every tree whose fruit you see, to you it shall be for food. These were the fruits God gave us. Fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Adam enjoyed it. Scripture tells us he lived 930 years. Then man sinned. God permitted us to eat flesh. And as a result of flesh eating, we began to deteriorate. And as you can see on the screen, the last man there is David. Very short man, like me. I've always wondered when we get to heaven... Whether God is going to spring us up, those of us who are tall, to be like Adam and Eve, or we're going to maintain our same style. But the point I'm simply making this morning is 2022, a new year, a new me calls for you to be intentional about your health. Healthy living, healthy lifestyle, healthy practices. Your capital is not the amount of money you have at the bank. Your capital is your health. When you break down today, all that you can achieve in this life is gone. So 2022, New Year, New Me, take care of your health. Drop the too busy syndrome. Go for vacation from time to time. And by this, I'm announcing to the church on the, my birthday, I'm running away. Need time to recuperate and come back. Take time. Check your health. There are many of us here who drive. The whole year you've been going to workshop to check on your car, changing oil. But the entire year you never visit the hospital to check this machine. True or false? True. When you break down, everything is over. 2022, New Year, New Me says, take care. Eat well, sleep well, drop the social media. Let us, by 10 o'clock, you should be sleeping so that you can have the eight hours. I think there's some people sleep four hours, three hours, they up. You will break down. This machine belongs to God. Don't spend your strength to get money and spend the money to regain your strength. There is nothing like wisdom in doing that. We spend our strength to gain wealth and we spend our wealth to regain our health. It's no wisdom. Take care of your health and you'll be able to do more. Number four, everything produces or reproduces on relationships. The sperm needs the egg before a human being can form relationship. When you plant a seed, we don't plant it in the air, we plant it in the soil. The seed needs the soil, needs moisture, needs water before it can sprout, grow, and bear fruit. You cannot succeed in this life alone. Relationship is capital. I have said it. It's on video. It is a sign of pride and arrogance for anybody to say me, I don't care whoever hates me or loves me. It is pride. The blessings of God 
in the year 22, 22 and beyond, it has always been. Will come from God, not directly to you, but God will pass it through human being. And therefore, number four in 2022, be intentional about building relationship. The business people call it network. Because the blessings of God will come through you, not directly, but through man. Somebody's signature. Get you a job. Somebody's name can open door for you to become who God wants you to be. Somebody's recommendation letter can take you to places. So in 2022 and beyond, New Year, New Me, church, friends who have joined us, don't be careless towards your relationship. Be intentional. You see, not everything is about prayer. There are some things that common sense, relationship, will open doors to and for you. There are some of you who have been praying to God to give you certain things, but God wants you to be close to that neighbor. God wants you to be close to that church member. When we close from this church, we don't even want to talk to anybody. Then we drive and go. Build networks because you can't succeed alone. Spend 10 minutes when we close to interact with others because a call from somebody can send you somewhere. So every time our prayer and prayer, prayer, common sense, network, get to know people. So in 2022, I advise church members and friends who have joined us. Be intentional to know somebody in the security services. You may have heard me tell this story. I was arrested by the police because I was driving and at the same time listening to Pastor Greg's call. The police said he has arrested me. I said, oh, I'm a pastor. And then this police officer looked at me and said, last two days I arrested a Catholic priest. So who is SDA pastor? So, he sat in my car, I was preaching at Matheco, a whole week revival. This guy says, we can do a gentleman agreement. Give me this amount, then I'll let you go. And I had only five Ghana CDs in my car, and my, 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 my fuel indicator was yellow. Because I was going to the next station to then go. This guy sat in the car and said, I, mean, I explained things, this guy said, no. He sat in my car, went to Mateko at that time, and I has written a book, so I invited him to come and do sales there. I took money from Adai, yes, the pastor paying him bribe, and gave it to this police officer. Because I didn't want to go to court. Then, as a student of intelligence, I took his number. He forgot that he's not supposed to give me his number. So I took his number and then straight away called Ben Markham, because I've worked with them. I know senior officers. So I call Army HQ. I was there in the evening. I'm talking about an evil relationship. In the evening when I came home, I was told by Pastor Geza, a police officer is looking for you. Frantically, he's looking for a pastor. I told Pastor Geza, I know the person. I'm not coming down. He has been called from Burma Camp. That Do you know the person whose money you took? If you need your job by tomorrow morning, Send the money now, now, now. And this police officer was at our gate begging to see me. To get me my money. Relationship. So nobody in the security services, nobody at the airport, nobody in the SHS school, nobody at the university, no everybody, everywhere, so that when you are in need, a call. From the bridge. No a carpenter. No amazing. Intentionally 2022, all that I'm saying, build friendship, build network with every category of profession as much as possible. I was traveling. I got to the airport. Sami came and said, Pastor, where do I know you? So I was your student. No, I was a teacher before I became a pastor. I thought this guy class two. And now he's an 
airport officer for the first time took me to the VIP room. <laughs> Pastor, you can't see the police come. Relationship. Be intentional in building that number five. Matthew 25, verse number 31 to 46 tells us that when Jesus comes, he's not worry. He's going to ask us six questions. The Sabbath is Saturday, but unfortunately, the Sabbath is not part of the question. Six questions. Matthew 25, 31 to 46. Number one, did you feed the hungry? Did you feed the poor? Did you give water to the test? Did you clothe the outcast? Did you shelter the outcast? Did you clothe the naked? There are some of us seated here. Our wardrobes are full. We don't know what to do with the clothes. Did you visit the sick? Did you visit the prisoner? Six questions. Jesus says, because you did it for the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Pastor, what is your point? 2022, New Year, New Me says, be intentional about being generous care it was john maxwell who said people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care all our evangelism if we are to show care first the people will come automatically that's what i believe jesus enters village he heals them feeds them and the people start following him but we always want to go with a word without caring. Did you clothe the naked? Did you visit the prison? Were you at the hospital when I was sick? Did you give me water to drink? Okay. Be intentional. Give a percentage of your salary or wages. Be intentional. 0, 0.2%, 1%, etc. That every month you are dedicating a percentage of your salary to care for others. New year, new me. That's what it is. Be generous. Open your hands to people. Hebrews chapter 13 verse number 16 says, And do not forget to do good and to share with others what for with such sacrifice God is pleased. Proverbs 19 verse 17. My favorite scripture. One of them in scripture says, Whoever is kind to the Lord, the King James Version, whoever lends to the poor, lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Can you imagine God waking up in the morning, assuming he sleeps and wake up, and God calls the angel, bring the list of those I am owing on earth, and at the near man, Christ, you find your name, you know, you find your name, God is owing them. Bible says the only way God will owe you, owe me, is when we are good to people who are vulnerable, poor, needy in the society. God owes you. The Bible says you will pay it with interest. So 2022, New Year, New Me, number four, five says, be intentional about being generous. Give and it will be given to you. Luke 6, 38, a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap for with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Proverbs 22 verse 9 says, He who has a generous eye will be blessed, for he gave of his bread to the poor. Number six, last but one. You cannot live in this world without being offended by someone. So learn how to say, I forgive you. You cannot live in this world without being offended by someone. So learn how to say, I forgive you. You can also live in this world without being offended. So learn how to say, I'm sorry. Apologize and let it go. Husbands, forgive. 
Wives, forgive. Single people, forgive those who have wronged you. There are some of you, you want to enter 2022 with hurt and bitterness. It is a sin in the sight of God. Your prayer will not go beyond your ceiling. Forgive before we enter 2022. New year, new me means I am putting all behind. Starting all over again. If your wife has offended you, let it go. If your husband has offended you, let it go. Forgive. If a pastor has offended you, let it go. If a church officer has offended you, let it go. Now, not tomorrow, because tomorrow is not promised. Let it go. Most of the companies or organizations, corporate organizations, have closed for the year. There are some of you work in all kinds of various organizations. I'm sure some of your colleagues have offended you and you have closed the year as far as work is concerned and you couldn't find a place in your heart to let it go and you have come to church and you are white, you are dressed and you are seated and you are listening to the word of God. When we close, please pick your phone and reconcile. Let it go. Because if the person dies, it is forever on your records. That is the most dangerous aspect of it. Jesus said, forgive and be forgiven. If we don't forgive, we will not be forgiven. And if we are not forgiven, because if one sin remains on your record, in heaven, unconfessed, unforgiven, you will be lost. True. If you are harboring anything against anybody, let it go. I'm not saying be wise. Give yourself to the person to hurt you again. But deep down in your heart, let the person know that you have let it go. But be wise so that next time you will not be used as a fool stick. Matthew 6, 14 to 15. For, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive, but if you do not forgive, neither would you also receive forgiveness from your Father. We are going for a vacation. And it's only family members that are going. Sons and daughters of the kingdom. Now imagine you are at loggerhead with your father's daughter. Your own sister. I mean God's daughter, God's son. And we all get to heaven, assuming God will admit you to be in heaven. And you are loggerhead with your sister, your brother. And we are together before the Father in heaven. Are you going to continue the loggerheads there? Don't forget you will not enter. So God will do you a favor by allowing you and the devil to be in hellfire. Because all family members who will make it to heaven are individuals who are together. They don't have issues. Hebrews 12, 14 says, Follow peace with all men, friends in man, or friends who have done us, and holiness without which no man will see the Lord. A new year, a new me says, I'm cool with everyone, but I'll be careful so that next time I don't step on your toes or I don't allow you to step on my toes. That wisdom must be there. Finally, is coming. Jesus can come today. You and I can die today. But whether dead or alive, those online, those who are here, if you are not listening because you want to be in heaven, please stop coming to church. You are wasting your time. Go and chill with the world. Yesterday I was in Tama in the night, Tama Committee 6, their youth come, they invited them to do presentation. When I was coming, around 8.30, things were happening. Things were happening in town. Chilling, everything, drinking, everything. 
you have said because you want your soul to be saved you will not drink you will not do a b c d e f and something little a character defect takes you out of the kingdom with a greater respect you are not wise it is better to go with them. Join the cult. Go to Benin or whatever they do their thing. Make all the money you want to make. Buy all the cars. Do whatever you want to do. Chill. Enjoy life. So that when you are burning in hellfire, you understand that at least you enjoy it on that. But as an Adventist, you didn't do any of these things. But something small takes you out of the kingdom. Pastor, what is your point? I'm saying, get ready. But well, tomorrow is not promised. Every day, 2022 and beyond, live your life as if that day is your last day on earth. So Jesus says, as I wrap up and sit down, but as I many many has received me, to them, I gave them right to become the children of God. To those who believe in my name, they were not born of flesh. No blood, but the will of my Father. If there is anybody listening to me online, if there is anybody right here in this church, you are yet to go through the watery grave of initiation to join officially the kingdom of God. Don't postpone it. Today we wanted to have a baptism, but unfortunately something has happened, so we are postponing it to the next week or two. Get yourself ready if you have not been baptized. Mothers and fathers, if your children know what is good and evil, encourage them to baptize. Don't let them postpone it because baptism is a requirement for salvation. And those of us who are baptized, let us get the Holy Spirit baptism. Hence my call for us to be intentional about our spiritual life. You may have messed up 2021. I want to make an altar call and pray for some people. At the beginning of 2021, you made resolutions as far as all things are concerned, but most especially concerning your spiritual life. But as we sit here in this chair, as you watch me online, 25th December, when you assess your spiritual life, you have not developed a bit. In fact, you have become even worse than before. But as a year is ending, you want to tell the Lord, I am coming, Lord. Come in a city. Wash me, cleanse me in the blood. Come, come. Sing with me one more time. I am coming on Come Coming on to the You want to tell the Lord 2021 as far as my spirituality concerned has not been a good year Dad 25th December I am coming for rebaptism in the spiritual. Daddy, I am coming for my sins to be forgiven. I am coming for elders and pastors to pray for me. I want to start 2022 in zeal in holiness. 2021 was no good. Is there anybody who wants to come and stand here for us to pray for the person? I hear that walk and voice. Uh, I hear. I messed up 2021. Father, I messed up. I know. And you know. I can't hide it. 25th December, the last Sabbath of the year. I want to start all over. Daddy, wash me. Daddy, cleanse me. I want you to forgive me and start all over again with me. I am coming, Lord. Not here in the church. Uh, I messed up. I messed up. 
I messed up. But then I'm coming for wash and for cleansing to restart all over. A new year, a new me in 2022. We started a song I hear that I welcome for that church right. I hear I woke up. I'm making appeal number two. That home without your spirit. So they were going through the mountains of life. It took your grace to preserve them or the enemy would have killed them. Daddy, we are here back home by your grace, by your call. Have mercy. 
you have called us to come father please here we are filthy but have mercy oh that you turn where we are standing to the pool of the blood of jesus baptize each one of us and Lord Jesus, we are ready and willing for our clothing to be changed. So, Master, Brother, Jesus, our Lord, begin to remove our filthy clothes as you did for Joshua the high priest. Right now, Lord, remove them. And baptize each one of us. Anyhow. Please put on us your righteousness. Please put on us your holiness. Please put on us, Jesus, any clothing you have, Put on everybody who has come forward and standing here and pleading with you, start all over again like and new with me. My father, you said, if earthly fathers are willing to give good things to their children, you are much more than willing to give the Holy Spirit to those who ask you. We need the Spirit of God to control us, and therefore, as we lift our hands up, Father, please, a sign of surrender. A sign of readiness to receive your Holy Spirit. Father, please. According to your promise in Joel 2, 28 and 29. According to your promise in Luke chapter 11, verse 9 to 13. According to your promise in Acts chapter 1. Verse number 4, 5 and 8. Sons and daughters of the kingdom. We have lifted our hands up. Father, ready to receive your Spirit. Pour your Spirit upon us, O God. Pour your Spirit, Father, upon us. We are ready. Spirit divine, our bodies are your temple according to scripture. Come and possess us. Come and indwell in us, Holy Spirit. We beg you. We can't walk through this life without you. Spirit divine, baptize us anew and fill us. Start all over anew with us right now. Cause us to hate what you hate. Cause us to love what you love. In the seed, the devil has sown in our heart. Holy Spirit, you have our permission. Please, by your emblem of fire. Bend those seeds, set us free from anything, anything of the devil. Please show your seed of holiness, righteousness, and all your fruit and gift, Holy Spirit. Please plant them in us. Please walk with us. 2022, give us joy. 2022, Holy Spirit, if Jesus comes, please make sure. Everyone who is standing and willing to be saved, please, especially those who are here and those who are online, please, Holy Spirit, do whatever you have to do to make every one of us candidate for heaven. Break the power of the devil over us, destroy spells and curses, set us free from the devil machination, and save everyone. And now, finally, Jesus. As children of God, please mark us indeed. Write your name, Lord, you have our permission. Write your name, Christ Jesus, on our forehead. A sign that we belong to you, you are our Lord. Everybody in this room, those who are watching online, write your name on our forehead. A sign that we are yours. And Lord, do whatever you have to do to cause us to walk in your status and your judgment and do that. Bless your people. Bless friends who are worshiping with us today. Bless church members online. Bless friends who have joined us online who are not church members. Bless church members who are here. 2022, let this church grow to become like a tree you are planted by the rivers of water. May our leaves and fruit never wither. Grant us above all unity. And Lord, do whatever you want to do with us in the year 2022. And now may the peace of God our pastor understanding be upon you and be with you. As you start all over again, right here from this church. May this seven point the Lord has given to us, the Holy Spirit aid us to practicalize them. In Jesus' name I have prayed with thanksgiving. Let sons and daughters of the kingdom who are ready to go to heaven to Jesus, come right now, shout a loud Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. First time visitors, please when we find out, just stand up and come to my right side over here, and uh, I just will meet you for a brief moment. And also to church members, the Sabbath school quarterlies are ready. 
as to file out fast by the front desk to take your copies. And also the, the youth to help to pack the chairs. Thank you very much. For accusing him, we shall make use of him say straight away when we all get to heaven. Yes. 